Welcome back to another geometry video. Uh, we're still in chapter one. We're dealing with uh, section 1.7, which is midpoint and distance in the coordinate plane, or the coordinate plane and stuff with the x, y axis. We're going to view a few things first. We're going to talk about the average of two numbers. Uh, we're going to relate that to the midpoint of a segment. We'll uh, introduce Pythagorean formula, which you've probably seen before. It's that formula dealing with right triangles. And we're going to also find the distance distance between two points if we're given that coordinates. First, let's talk about in this video, we're just going to talk about midpoint. So we want to know how do we find the average of two numbers. So let's review that concept. Remember that when you want to find an average of any amount of numbers, you just add all the numbers together and divide by however many numbers you have. So if it's just two numbers, 3 and 9, 3 plus 9 equals 12, and then I'm going to divide that by 2 because we have two numbers, so that average is 6. And if you graph, here's 3 on the number line, here's 9, all right, if you'll notice, 6 is going to be right in the middle. So your midpoint, you can relate really close to your average. If you want to do this graphically, you could also confirm that, all right, I can hop, you know, three little steps from, uh, from 3 to 6. You also hop three steps from, you know, 9 to 6. So you can see that this is, graphically, we can confirm that that's in the middle. That's the midpoint. So if I want to find the midpoint of two numbers, I find it quicker to just find the average. So if I do negative 2 plus 8, I get, careful with your signs here, this is not going to be 10 or negative 10, it's going to be positive 6. Divide that by 2, and you're going to get 3. So if you look at where negative 2 is, if you look at where positive 8 is, I'm saying it looks like 3 is going to be the midpoint. Again, I'm going to confirm that. You know, see one, two, three, four, five hops if you go from the eight, and then one, two, three, four, five hops. So makes sense that three is right in the middle. So your average is the same thing as a midpoint. So just nail that in your head. Midpoint is an average. Midpoint is an average. Let's do it with a what? What about something that uh, coordinate plane? All right, this one looks a little more difficult, but but you might look at this and go, hmm. All right, let's see. I, I know that it's got to be halfway between them horizontally, right? It's also going to be halfway between them vertically. And you might already go, well, let's see. This one's the the little vertical, the, the line that this is. This is like three high. If you look at the y coordinate, this is one high. So you you probably already assume that the midpoint height wise is going to be somewhere along this line right here. All right, and then let's look at look at the horizontal distance, negative two to six. All right. So it's going to be like somewhere around right here is going to be where your midpoint is. Which you can you can kind of you know sketch a little line here, all right? And I, I would use a straight edge, but I'm just kind of trying to hurry up here. Here's all you have to do: find the average of your x coordinates. So what are your x coordinates? Negative two and six. How do we find an average? We add them, then we divide by two. Negative two and six adds up to four. Four divided by two is two. Now that's our that's the average of our x's. Now let's find the average of the y coordinates. Let's see, again we have 3 plus 1. All right, that's going to be 4. Again, we're going to divide by 2. They just so happen to coincidentally be the same thing. So we look at 2 to the right, 2 up. That's going to be our midpoint. So it's the average of the x's is the x coordinate of your midpoint. Average of the y's is the y coordinate of midpoint. So if I want to call this m for midpoint, M is at the point two comma two. That means it's two to the right, and then two up. So this is how this is how we write where a point is. Let's try another one, okay? So if you want, pause the video, and try this on your own. Remember, all you're doing is finding averages: average of the x's, average of the y's. So try to find the midpoint here. Okay, so we're gonna work it out. All right, I'm gonna. I'm not even gonna bother graphing these first. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it the algebraic way first, the mathematical way, because I'm faster that way. So let me. I'm gonna look at my x average. All right, my x coordinates are negative seven and nine, so negative seven. Remember, you add them together, then you divide by two. Okay, so nine and a negative seven is a positive two, and we divide that by two over here, and you get one. So the average of my x is my midpoint, I think my x coordinate is going to be 1. Now let's take the y average. Let's see my y coordinates are positive 2, positive 8, so I add them together. That's how you take an average, divide by 2. 2 plus 8 is 10, 10 divided by 2 is 5, so I'm thinking my y coordinate of my midpoint will be 5. So this is saying point M, which I'm just calling the midpoint point M, is at 1 to the right, 5 up. 
So here's where I think, before I even grab my points, I'm going to actually grab my midpoint. One to the right. 5 up. I bet my midpoint is right there. Now let's graph the two points to confirm so we can get a visual of this. Negative 7, 2. Remember, that's 7 to the left. 2 up. That's where the point A is. That's at negative 7, 2. All right, and then let's graph where the point B is. Let's see. This is going to be uh, over here. Point B, 9 to the right, 8 up. So not as 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to kind of graph that because I don't want to lose track of it. Here's 5 up, and then 6, 7, 8 up. All right, so that's where my point B is, and I always like to put the coordinates to. B is at 9, 8. And if you notice, if you graph a line there, connecting these two points, this point right here, which I'm, I'm just going to call point M, is exactly at 1, 5, so it checks out. But notice how quick, much quicker it was just to do it algebraically. So what is a midpoint? It's an average. Midpoint is an average. Midpoint is an average. You could do this by, um, you know, trying to graph and everything, but just do it this way. Now, notice this. They came out to whole numbers before, right? If I look back here. Let's do another one. Try this one. You might get, if you get a decimal, don't worry. It's okay if you get a decimal. And the reason why I like the algebraic way is if you get a decimal, you can spot it easily if you do it numerically. When you do it graphically, it's like, wait, did I, did I draw the line wrong? Is that falling in between this and that? But take the x average, okay? How do we find our x average? Remember, add your x coordinates. 5 plus negative 6, which is the same thing as 5 minus 6. So that's negative 1 over 2. All right, this is negative 1 half. This, this is fine to write it. This is OK. That's the x average. Or you can write it as negative 0 0.5. Either is correct. I'm going to go with the decimal way. That doesn't mean it's the fraction way is wrong. Fractions are good. They're fine. Let's do the uh, average of the y's now. Let's see. We have add them together. The y coordinates are negative 7 and negative 1. I'm going to add them together, divide by 2. This is negative 8 over 2, which gives me negative 4. So here's what I think. I think my midpoint is at negative 1 half, comma, negative 4. Or alternatively, if you prefer decimals, negative 0 0.5, comma, negative 4. Either way is correct here. So usually I prefer the fractions in case it's like a weird, like if it was 2 thirds. You know, if like somehow fell at two thirds, like I would prefer the fraction way because I don't want to write point six 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 forever. But either way is correct. Let's actually graph the midpoint first, which you know seems kind of counterintuitive. It's like, wait, I didn't even graph the points, but I'm already thinking. Oops, I went four up here. Be careful. Negative five. Oh, and I went, <laughs> I went on the wrong quadrant altogether. So left half, and then down one, two, three, four. All right, so this is where I think my midpoint is without even graphing my points. I bet that's where my midpoint is. Now I'm going to graph my points. 5 to the right, 7 down, so there's 5 to the right. That's 5 down, 6, 7. I think that that's where A is. All right, and then I'm going to graph my point B. All right, uh, left 6, that would be over here. Down 1, that would be right here, so B. And if you notice, if you connect the, the lines here, that point falls right in the middle. So that checks out that this is the way to find a midpoint. So it's just an average. Midpoint's an average. It's just an average. Here's what your book has, the midpoint formula. Ugh. It's terrifying. This is scary. Doesn't this look complicated? Is it complicated? No. Midpoint is an average. That's all it is. You can memorize this formula and notice how they're actually taking, look, your x coordinates. See how they have x1 and x2? I even color coded it for you. They're adding the x's, dividing by 2, and that's your that's your midpoint's x coordinate. So like whatever this calculates to is going to be what you'd put like in the x here. Then whatever the average of your y's calculates to, if you notice over here, you know, uh, oops, I made a mistake here. I made a oh, no, that's, sorry, that's correct, that's correct. Uh, I'm adding my y coordinates, which I'm adding this y coordinate and this y coordinate, and I'm dividing those by two. All I'm doing is taking the average. You do not need to memorize this formula. I, it just looks weird. With the subscripts and the x's, there's like x1, x2, there's a regular x. I wouldn't memorize this. I would just remember that midpoint is an average. We'll be right back. We're going to eat some jello pudding. Da. And these are penances. Best in this. Video actually goes over to the local. You're not necessarily a fight. Those are the schools. Secret Harvard. Like the Taylor's Board of Lectures Administration. Schools or anyone else. Visit our website at sshcoto.org.